All right, what's up going on, everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel um, with somewhat of like a rant video. Okay, a lot of people are talking about Sting going into the WWE Hall of Fame. Um, would Sting have gone into the WWE Hall of Fame if he had not come over and joined the WWE? Uh, that's a really good question. Um, you know, I remember when Sting did state that he would never, ever sign with Vince McMahon. This was years ago. This was after WCW had closed down uh, due to uh, their buyout by the WWE. Uh, but, you know, in essence, Sting sold out, really, in my mind, um, by deciding to agree to come to the WWE. And he had to know what he was getting himself into. He had to know this. Just by knowing how Vince McMahon and the WWE operates, how could he not know? Um, he comes into the WWE, and yeah, he made a statement early. Everybody was all, really all riled up to see Sting. They figured, okay, Sting's going to go and take down the authority. Okay. Um, he did help out with John Cena and uh, Dolph Ziggler at Survivor Series and whatnot. Uh, but when it came down, you know, truthfully... You know, after he got the best of Triple H and tip, Triple H ran away like he was scared of staying and who is this guy and whatnot. And then they ended up having their match at WrestleMania. And, of course, we saw the factions, uh, the NWO, uh, come in on Sting's side. And we also saw, you know, the New Age Outlaws and everything else on the side of the Authority. And there was a lot of chaos and what ended up happening was Triple H coming out on top of this match and, you know, taking out Sting and then the beatdown thereafter. Um, so, in my eyes, Sting had to know what he was getting into, okay? And then they put him into a WWE World title match, okay, with Seth Rollins. He just, all of a sudden, was thrown into that title match after he... Uh, decimated Seth Rollins' statue and whatnot. Uh, it, it was just, you know, I, I, there's a lot of us that just didn't understand why Sting was involved in the title in the first place. Um, we all thought John Cena was still going to go uh, for the WWE World Heavyweight title because he had lost his United States title in a match at SummerSlam to Rollins when it was uh, title versus title. So, Sting gets injured. We haven't really seen him since. Now the WWE is deciding to put him into the Hall of Fame. And there's a lot of fans out there bitching and moaning uh, because they honestly believe Sting got a raw deal. Well, here's my take on it. You knew he was going to get a raw deal coming to the WWE. You just knew. Um, this is just another slap in the face by the WWE uh, because you were that WCW guy. You were that guy that held out for WCW for so long, and Vince wanted to prove once again, hey, we took down WCW, we bought them out, we closed them down, and you were the last one, and that's what Vince wanted to do. He wanted to get that last guy from WCW into the WWE, and he accomplished that. And once he accomplished that, you know, Sting had to know, uh, it was over for him. So, you know, it, it just it's just how it is. And, and everybody had to know this. And Sting had to know this. Uh, you know, do I agree with how the WWE treated Sting? Hell no. But I knew, because Vince always said he wanted to get Sting into the WWE. And I knew once he got him, that was it. You know? He could do what he wanted. So, there you have it. Those are my thoughts. Those are my opinions about Sting's induction into the WWE Hall of Fame and how he was treated in the WWE. Does Sting deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? By all means, yes. Absolutely. Uh, would he have gotten there if he didn't sign a contract with the WWE? Probably sometime, but not as soon uh, uh, as it's you know as it is now. Uh, but, you know, if I were staying, I would have I kept to his, uh, 
his promise that I would never sign with the WWE, he would have been the one guy actually that, you know, held out. But I do understand his reasons. He was in TNA for so long. He, he accomplished everything in TNA that he could do. WCW obviously was no longer around. And, you know, wrestling stays within your blood. And, uh, you know, so he chose. He gave in. He gave in to the higher power. Vince McMahon, the higher power. And the WWE. And that's just how it goes, guys. There you have it. Here, Friday... January 15th, 2016. See y'all next time.